So we are here with the legendary freestyle artist, Coro, here in our K2 studios. Hey, welcome. Thank you. How you doing? So far, so good. I mean, we are just like counting the days to Kate Euphoria here yeah. to celebrate what will be our 25th birthday. Actually, that already happened, but we're putting on a big party to celebrate. Awesome, awesome. And Can't we're wait. excited to have you a part of it because it, like you have been part of this whole KTU history. You know, we were just talking off mic, like the last time you came to visit, our studios were in Jersey City still. Yeah. Like That was a while back. Yeah. I was like, I was trying to, I was looking around, I was like, I don't remember this place, <laughs> but I kind of remember me coming, but not the, the actual everything in here. It just looks so different. So like the world is a different place now, but it's it's one thing that I think speaks to freestyle music is that the fans of it are just hardcore. Like, what can you say about that? Do you think it's the same people or are you getting new fans? I think it's uh, a collaboration of the, the older old school people that, that still follow. They're really loyal. And then as it went along, we just got like a new little crowd following. Like the grandmothers had their, the, the kids listen to it, and then the kids grew up with it. So now when they had kids, it's an extension of that. So it, we, we've gotten a, 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 nice, a nice amount of new fans, and we continue to do shows. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah. Well, you know, Judy Torres works here, yeah. as you know, every mm -hmm. Sunday. And, you know, she's constantly doing shows. And I think, like, a lot of the freestyle artists will get together and do shows together. So uh, do you feel like it's a very tight-knit community? It sure is. We do. We, we've been, like, doing shows literally for the past 33 years with wow. each other. So we're all kind of like family. We know each other a little bit too well. We know each <laughs> other's parents. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very close-knit family. Everybody's getting invited over for Christmas. I don't think that we could all make it like that. There's so many. <laughs> and everybody's got kids now. So, yeah, it's it's hard. But we do, you know, we catch up every time we do a show. So I want to go back a little bit because you have, like, a really interesting um, resume, shall we say. You started, like, doing the acting <clears throat> thing. And you were on Miami Vice back in the day. Yeah. And then at the same time, you were trying to make your music career work. And you were kind of struggling to get it started until you met Stevie B. Correct. How did that happen? Well, um, I was working with Toga at the, at the at the moment. I had met uh, Spider from TK. We put a group together, started working with Toga, and uh, was trying to get something off, off the ground. It wasn't working quite fast enough, and in the same process, Toga already um, knew who Stevie B was. They put me in touch with him, and uh, Stevie was like, well, are you interested in at least going on the road, getting familiar with the stage? Um, and I was like, sure, why not? Because I, I, I used to have uh, stage fright. It was freaking me out. But um, I thought that it would be good to get my feet wet, go on the road, see what it's all about, and start getting a little bit used to the stage. So that's how I started with Stevie on tour. Wow. I, you know, it's really interesting. I think a lot of people in the entertainment industry, because I can speak for myself, get a little bit nervous, get a little bit of stage fright, but yet push themselves to you know, get past that and, and to like, I mean, who would have thought like, you know, if you're a little nervous, like getting on stage, that's a big deal. It is. It's it's hard to entertain that amount of people and keep them entertained, not to bore them. You always got to switch up and do something new. So I would like at the first, I would say the first 10 seconds are the worst because once you just start and keep on going, it, you just forget about being nervous. You just do what you got to do. Would you say, what did you say, 33 years so now, at least minimum, yeah. 33 years later, do you still get that little bit of stage fright? Not fry? as bad. But no, still no. a little bit? A little a little something, something. You can never be too, I, guess, I say, too comfortable. You should never go into that cocky. Just go do your do, do the best you can, and the outcome will be the outcome. Yeah. Well, you know all these you people are the best. lined up to see you, and I know for KT Euphoria as well to celebrate 25 years of KT. We have a whole freestyle set. Who are you most excited about seeing on our lineup? Uh, I can't remember the lineup right now. Oh, I can help you out with okay, that. Okay, go for it. Okay, so we have Pitbull, we have Ava Max, we have Lizette Melendez, we have George Lamont, our very own Judy Torres. I would say, you know, it would be exciting to see Pitbull finally perform. You haven't seen Pitbull I've yet? I've never seen Pitbull. Never met him, never seen him perform. I've seen, you know, the shows, of course, on show uh, on TV. But it would be pretty, really interesting. I'd like to meet him. You know, I wonder if he's a freestyle fan. He might be. He did a remix with um, Stevie B back, you know, the... Which one was it? Party Your Spring, Body or Spring Love? It was Spring Love. Spring yeah. Love. So 
he obviously knows so about he, freestyle. And I feel like if you either grew up in New York, Miami, like you know freestyle. It's like where the, the biggest population of fans are. Um, yeah. yeah, so that'd be really cool. Maybe you can like... I'll throw something that way. I'll be like, yo, uh, how about, you know, can I do a track with you? You jump on my track, just do a little something, something. Oh, my gosh. That'd I don't know so if cool. I have the nerve to do that. But... I'll help. You track me down, okay. and we'll we'll approach him together. <clears throat> He's a really cool dude. All right. Really cool. But speaking oh. of new music, I mean, you're still, like, you're not just going out there and performing the stuff, like, you know, from, from 33 years ago. You've got some new stuff, like Mona Lisa is new. That's the most current, yeah. The most current. You were working on music during the pandemic. Like, what's that like, and how is your approach different than it was? Well... The approach wise, it was just a matter of the timing. I guess it's, it's the studios. I'm not sure during that time if it was really open to, for recording, but you had to be extra careful. It wasn't much being done. I only did one, I, I believe, one track during that whole that whole COVID thing, and that was a reggaeton track. And it was to try and be a little bit more diverse with different uh, different venues. Uh, with Mona Lisa, it was totally something new. And um, I'm really excited. It's it's kind of like out of the box, different for me, but I'm I'm always willing to try something new. I always think there's nothing to lose. It's always something to gain. That's fantastic. And I know you've done some commercials too. Like you do most uh, Selena. Like yeah, we did Coca Cola commercial back oh in the days with Selena. I did a few of the commercials that uh, when I was much younger, but I really wouldn't even want to touch base on those. It's kind of funny. So but you're yeah. sticking with what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. You are getting those freestyle fans or freestyle freaks. I'm sorry, that's what they call themselves yes. uh, together freaks. and and putting on these great shows, giving them some new stuff as well. And yeah. we can't wait to see you at KT Euphoria. It's going to be great. I'm so looking forward to that. That's going to be super exciting.